India is achieving major milestones in the 21st century. From an expanding IT industry to exploring the frontiers of space. But we are still struggling with one basic problem. One in five Indians, that is over 200 million people, still have no access to electricity in our country. And with our growing population and economic aspirations, India's demand for energy is only increasing. The bulk of our electricity comes from polluting fossil fuels like coal and petroleum. But about 14% comes from renewable energy sources. And at the Paris Climate Conference in 2015, we pledged to increase this to 40%. One way that our government is trying to meet this target is by focusing on an apparently clean green energy source, small hydropower projects. It is well known that large dams cause massive destruction of forests and displace millions of people. Small hydropower projects, or SHPs, are believed to be viable and problem-free alternatives to large dams. This is how they work. A weir is constructed across a river and water is diverted to a downstream powerhouse. Here, the water rotates turbines to produce electricity. The water is then released back into the original stream bed. Because they are small, SHPs are believed to be less damaging to the environment. The assumption is, smaller structure means less forest area destroyed, and negligible submergence of land means no large-scale displacement of people. But are SHPs really eco-friendly? They can be, if the dam is truly small. Unfortunately, dams are classified as small based on the amount of power generated and not their actual size. Surprisingly, there is no globally accepted standard for classifying small dams. So in Denmark, a small dam is a dam that generates a maximum of 1 megawatt of electricity. In the UK, the limit is 10 megawatts. In India, a dam can be called small even if it generates up to 25 megawatts. This matters because any dam labeled small is considered to be eco-friendly and a good way to fight climate change. So these projects are given massive financial incentives. And more worryingly, in India, they are exempt from normal regulations and safeguards. Dr. Ravi Chopra is a well-known scientist. He led the Supreme Court-appointed expert body that investigated the cause of the 2013 Uttarakhand flood disaster. He has little doubt that SHPs can cause severe problems. The government of course claims that these are small projects and that their impacts are negligible. I do not agree with this. Small projects are generally built on smaller rivers or smaller streams. If you look at the size of the project relative to the size of the river, the impacts are very similar. The Netravati River originates in the forested mountains of the Western Ghats in Karnataka. The river and its tributaries are a vital lifeline for the hills and the coastal plains of the state. The region is a part of a global biodiversity hotspot with a high diversity of amphibians reptiles, fish, birds and mammals, many of which are found nowhere else in the world. Borana is a farmer from the Maranahali village in this region. Borana's home is next to the Yatinahole river and its tributaries. A cluster of four SHPs stand on these waters. Because small dams don't need to conduct public hearings, people like Borana had no idea that these projects were coming up around them.
Scientists have found that the streams in this region are immensely rich in fish diversity with endemic species like the Mahasir. Healthy fish population and intact streams are vital to the local people living around these rivers. When SHPs divert water, vast stretches of the stream dry up, especially in the summer. Many fish get stranded in these stretches and die out. Other rare migratory fish species have disappeared. <laughs> It is not just fish movement that is affected. Elephants have started entering villages and raiding crop fields. Scientists have found that elephant conflict strongly coincided with the construction of four SHPs in the region. SHPs require a lot of construction, roads, transmission lines, pipes and canals. All this has come up in the middle of an age-old elephant travel route in the forest. Deforestation, disturbance and obstruction is now forcing elephants to move through villages. But are there no benefits from SHPs to these villages? What about rural electrification? All the electricity produced by SHPs usually goes through a central grid to big cities. Do SHPs at least provide jobs to local people? But most local employment consisted of temporary construction jobs. The problem is not just a lack of benefit. SHPs have also been known to disrupt traditional irrigation systems and water mills in places like Himachal Pradesh. And then there is also the threat to human safety. The sudden and unannounced release of water from SHPs have led to numerous incidents of people being washed away. If environment impact assessments and public hearings had been done before these SHPs were built, these facts might have been revealed. But since no studies are done to identify the potential impacts of these projects, no measures are taken to prevent such problems. The lack of safeguards is now putting our people, wildlife and rivers in danger. And it is no longer a question of one dam on one stream. There are 10 SHPs already on the 108 km long Netravati River and about 44 more are in the pipeline. Across India, over 1,000 SHPs have already been commissioned and about 6,500 new sites have been identified for more dams. Many of these projects are in eco-sensitive areas like the Western Ghats and the Himalayas. If just four SHPs can lead to destruction of forests, disturbance of wildlife and loss of human life, what will happen? when thousands of SHPs mark our rivers. There is a tendency in the last decade or so to build series of dams on a river. Therefore, cumulative impact assessments of multiple projects on a river becomes extremely important. Current to 
ವಿದ್ಯುತ್ ಘಟಕಗಳನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಉಪಯೋಗ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಹೀಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಬಟ್ ದಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವೇ ಟು ಎನ್ಶೋರ್ ಮಿನಿಮಮ್ ಡ್ಯಾಮೇಜ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೈ ಹೋಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ದೀಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅಕೌಂಟಬಲ್ ಬೈ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಅ ವೇ ವಿತ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಇ ಐ ಐಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಹಿಯರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಬ್ಲೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ಸ್ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್